today we're talking about controlling your phosphorus if you have kidney disease or on dialysis. And with any recommendations that we talk about here, you always want to check your blood work before and after, know your values, know where you're going, because if not, you're kind of just um, guessing and shooting in the dark and maybe you're doing things that aren't good for you. So have to take a look at your blood work. Thanks for watching today's video. This is Robert Galarowitz from Healthy Kidney Inc. where we provide lots of information through our videos, our blogs, and our website, empowering you to help yourself so that you can help your kidney health. Now, today's information is coming from the Journal of Renal Nutrition, January 2021. This uh, research piece was published, and it's called Translation of Nutrient Level Recommendation to Control Phosphate into Food-Based Advice. Okay, let's talk about what they went over. So. They cover a couple of main points in this research about how to get your phosphorus levels down, how to control them because better phosphorus control equals better kidney health, a slowing of the loss of kidney function, better bone health, and so many better, uh, so much better things that are good for you and your kidney health. Okay, so first thing they mention is switching out animal proteins for plant-based proteins. Now there is still the very large amount of information even doctors, professionals are still using the really old recommendations of not to use plant-based foods because of the high phosphorus. And as this journal piece talked about, which I've talked about many times, we've got like hundreds of studies at this point, the phosphorus that's in plant foods is binded to phytic acid so you don't absorb as much as the phosphorus as you do if you had an animal-based food. Now, they give certain recommendations here for what plant-based proteins. They talk about pulses, some nuts, whole grains. Now, when they talk about the pulses, they're talking about beans. So the three that they said were very kidney friendly, which were lower phosphorus, were chickpeas. Okay, that's chickpeas. You can make that into a hummus kidney beans and butter beans. So those are the three good beans to look to include in your diet and take out some of those animal proteins. And they were looking at about three to four ounces per serving. They found that amount was good to control the phosphorus level, give you the nutrients you need. Um, if, you're eating, if you're eating an adequate protein diet with kidney disease or a more lower protein diet, that still gave a good amount. Um, and that's acceptable, that's something you can do. As far as nuts, they mentioned peanuts and cashews as having the lowest phosphorus content and always unsalted, okay? You always wanna have unsalted. No matter what you have, if it's the beans, no salt. There's lots and lots of uh, natural flavings out there that are salt-free. The Miss Dash line of salt-free seasonings, that's like a staple in my house. I have, I have a lot of them, I'm always buying them because I'm always using them. I, I love the chicken flavor, uh, no salt, really good for seasoning things. They talk about whole grains, about using some oats, oatmeal, because lower phosphorus content. They talk about using some whole wheat bread, okay, instead of other breads out there. Avoid the sourdough, uh, avoid the soda bread they mention in there. So those are what you wanna swap out some of the animal proteins and include those. Now they also mention boiling. Okay, boiling reduces phosphorus content, but you have to discard the water. That's the main thing with it. So if you're looking to control phosphorus further, you can always boil your foods and then discard the water. And then from there you can consume the foods or you can boil them and then quickly cook them another way if you're looking to get some flavor. But boiling reduces phosphorus content if you get rid of the water, you can't consume the water that you boiled in. Okay, so good. That's, uh, those are some of the main areas. Another one is watching for additives. There's a lot of phosphorus additives. Listed always, uh, generally listed on the package as PHOS. And you look on the back of the nutrition facts to find that. Now where most of those are gonna be found, the large amounts uh, is uh, processed meats. So any type of those processed meats, cold cuts, uh, pepperoni, bologna, and any processed meats, even turkey. Uh, is going to have high phosphorus content. Sodas, avoid all sodas, soft drinks, high phosphorus. Canned foods tend to have high phosphorus. Uh, baked goods, okay, baked goods like your cakes, pies, candies, those also have high phosphorus. And those foods in general are just not good for kidney health, so you shouldn't avoid them. So if you're looking to lower your phosphorus, you have those three main recommendations. Switch to the plant-based proteins, boil the water, discard it, and watch the food additives. 
Okay, so those are the main things. Now, fourth thing, if you really uh, want to control even further, if those things aren't working for you, we have a great product called Phosfix, which supports a healthy phosphorus levels with ingredients that are great for kidney health. They support good kidney health. So this is our product, Phosfix, here. You can find it on Amazon. You can find it on our website. Uh, one to two pills with each meal, and it really helps support a healthy phosphorus level that you can measure on your before and after blood work. So I always want to measure to see what's working and what's not. So if you have high phosphorus, try those recommendations. Please comment, like, subscribe if you haven't to our channel and to your best kidney health. Bye.